Gary, where's Jamie? Sorry, boss, I'm not well man. Hey, Robbie, Robbie, where's Jamie and Sonia? Where they go? I don't know, they've just gone. Phil! Louise is crying, what's wrong with her? I oh, was only started a second ago. Yeah, but it don't sound like that to me. It sounds like she's been crying for ages. No, 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 she's fine. What's that? Oh, um, I cut myself. Where, where are you going? You've been drinking? No. What sort of person are you? You're supposed to be a babysitter, isn't it? You're down here boozing. No, I haven't touched a drop, honest. Where are you going? No, no, you can't go up the hill. Did you hear me? You've got to go. Yeah, all right. I will. There we go. It's better. Hey. Where's her bottle? Is it in there? No, no. Look, you can't be here. Do you understand? You've got to go. Look, you've got to leave her alone. She ain't nothing to do with you. Yeah, well, that's where you're wrong. No, Phil, please don't let me in charge. Phil, please give it to me. No, please, Phil. It's not your responsibility. Of course it is. Jamie kept stumbling of me and I've just blown it for him. What did he say about Louise? What? Phil, what did he say? Is he going to stay away? Well, I hope you're pleased with yourself. Look at her, look at the state of her. You're supposed to be her mother. You're supposed to be taking care of her. See so that you leave all that dopey mo Slater. Why, what's happened? I went past her to cry. Was well, so he just busted in there? Look, let's go somewhere else. And she talk was about crying, this. left crying her eyes Phil, out. Don't give it to me. What's going on? Look, let's go out. Phil, please! No, 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 you had your chance and you blew it. Look, give it to me. She's crying her eyes give out! Oh. You stay out of it, you! Look, you've no right. No right? What are you talking about, no right? I'm her father! Just give her to me. Give her to Lisa. Don't tell him what to do. Phil, please, she needs me. She needs her mum. What are you doing? She's yours! You keep out of this, you nosy old cow. You're always sticking your snout in and ruining things. Your son stole my granddaughter. He did no such thing. He's been pretending she's his all along, walking around with a great big smug smile on his face, knowing that Phil was the father. That's not true. Well, I don't see him denying it, do you? Come on, let's go. That's right, you run away, the pair of you. But there's nowhere to hide, is there? Because everybody knows. Good old Mark Fowler put me a better bloke, when in fact you're nothing but a filthy, cheating little liar. What did you say? You heard. All right, Mum, that's enough. No, no, I won't shut up. You, Pauline Fowler, you've always looked down your nose at me, haven't you? You sneered at my sons and my daughter. You think you're so superior, don't you? Your husband was a thief. Your son's got HIV, and the whole lot of you are a pack of liars! Look down my nose at you, you bet I do. Look at him, the last mangy stray from your pack. No wonder Lisa didn't want him for the baby's father. No wonder she wanted someone to be caring and look after her. She stole his daughter. She was protecting Louise. With a father like that, what chance in life would you have? The only thing you can say about Phil Mitchell is he's a miracle. Nobody shot him sooner. Get out, you! Don't you start on me! I said get out, you cheap, rotten old bag! Oh, yeah? And what? 
what's this? Strawberry blonde at 70? That's real, is it? Shut up, I'm not 70. No, but you look it. I'll tell you what, Peggy Mitchell, you're filth. You had a villain for a son, a villain for a husband, and a fiance who's a pervert. Do you think I'd let you near that little girl? Stop it! Get out! Stop it, the pair of you! Mark, I'm leaving. You're going to pay for this. Go on, you heard me! Get out! It'll be my pleasure. But what are you all staring at? Where are you going? Mo! What about Mo Slater? Oh, forget Mo. Let's just sort this out. Go over there and get back your daughter. Are you mad? She's crying her eyes out. We'll look after her. Um, she don't know me. I can't look after her. I can't comfort her. Oh, and Mark Fowler can. Well, Lisa can. Oh, don't do this, Phil. Don't let them get away with it. They're not getting away with anything. Everybody knows now. You're too right they should. Yeah, and you made sure you rubbed their face in it, didn't you? Well, what was I supposed to do? I told you. Keep out of it. I'm your mother. Mum, you're a meddler. You don't care about me or my feelings. You just want to get your hands on another little granddaughter. How could you say that? I stood up for you downstairs. I just want you to have what's yours. Yeah, OK, fine. But don't just say, oh, fine. Yeah, whatever, anyway, I'm going. Well, where are you going? Go and find Jamie. Jamie? What do you want Jamie for? Oh, I forgot to tell you. He knew about Louise. He's known for ages. Has something happened? Jamie, why can't you just tell me? I wish I could. But I promised. Oh, no, I promised who? Phil? No. So it's not about Phil? Yes, it is. I can't tell you. Sonia, just trust me on this, all right? If I tell anyone, I would tell you, but I can't. I'm going to be fair on him. I thought she was shot of him. Oh, she is. Happy New Year. Jamie! Jamie! Just kept your mouth shut. I thought you'd be pleased. No, you never. You were just stirring things up, getting some petty revenge. Jim had not announced the dates, why shouldn't we? Because I asked you not to. I'd almost turned him around, almost persuaded him. To do what? To be reasonable. Reasonable? You saw what he did tonight, he could have done that at any time, couldn't That's he? the whole point, Mark. If he'd left it to me, he wouldn't. I've heard enough of this. Just whose side are you on? My Mark's given up everything for you and all you can do is shout at him. He's done it for himself and all, Pauline. This is what he wants. Me, a family. You ain't a saint, you know. Now you sound like Peggy Mitchell. Well, maybe she's got a point about you two. Right, that's it. I've heard enough. She's just tired, Mum. She's overwrought. No, she's not. She's downright rude, and I'm not listening to her anymore. I'm going. So, do you fancy a drink? Oh, I fancy. Oh, what then? Your place. And? <laughs> not a little boy. No matter what you thought you was doing, it was wrong. I wanted to protect Lisa, protect the baby. Well, maybe ain't that bad. I mean, it is Phil Mitchell we're talking about. Well, that ain't right. Come, you know what Mitchell's like? He's scum. If Lisa wanted to be with him, she'd be with him. She chose Mark to be the father. Yes, but it ain't his baby, is it? And Stephen's not mine, but it doesn't mean I love him any less. I could be a great father, Louise. Won't he? Well, I'm not sure I can say anything. Oh, come on, love. Look, it's Phil Mitchell, right? You know what he's like. Out in the square, me begging him for money, remember? He's right, Doc. Of course he is. Mark's the baby's father now, and that's the way it's going to stay. <laughs> Slaters never stopped, do they? Let's go upstairs. Don't worry, Lisa. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah, of course it is, Pauline. You did a great job in the Vic tonight. It really helped. Cheers. How dare you? She doesn't mean it. Yes, I do. I mean every word of it. Can you imagine what this is doing to Louise? Oh, she's too young to understand. She don't have to understand. She just has to feel it. We did a really bad thing. And now we're going to pay for it. You were the one person I thought I could trust. No, I'm sorry, or I didn't know what to do. They kept telling me it was the best thing in the best. No, for who? For hey? you. How could it possibly be best for me, eh? Hey? They've taken my little girl away, my child. 
They were gonna bring her up for years in front of me without me ever knowing. What's going on? Sonia, just go back upstairs. I've right? seen you as well. No, she, she didn't. Do what? Sonia, upstairs, Stay, right? Please. Just go! So you liked the word too, did you? Make an habit of it, are you? I didn't lie. Just don't get it, dear. I lost Sharon because of you. I lost my daughter for two months because of you. Listen, the only reason I didn't tell you was because I thought you were going to hurt someone. Who? Lisa? I don't know, Mark or Lisa. And they're more important than me, are they? No, of course not. You're the most important. You know I'd never do anything to hurt you. Yes, you did. You did. <laughs> the moment you sided with Lisa, you hurt me just like you always did. They weren't like that. Of course it was. Well, you've chosen Jamie. You've finally chosen her over me. And you know what? She's welcome to you. Phil, look, please. I'll do anything. I'll make it up to you. How? You're going to bring Sharon back, are you? No. No, but nothing, all right? Now, all you ever were was a sad little standing for Ben. Well, I don't need you anymore. Because I've got a child, a real child, and she's right here. Phil, please, just give me one more chance, all right? I want to see you again. You got it?